Saturday. Welcome to another what I eat in a day vlog. Just super chill. I'm running off of very little sleep this morning. It is 7.49 in the morning and I didn't get home until like 2 last night because like the first time all of us friends got to see each other since quarantine and it was just so good. Like it was just all my high school friends and we all just hung out and but I am one tired gal. I made plans this morning to do my Saturday long run, you know how it goes, with one of my best friends and I'm so excited but she works later so <laughs> we had to do 8.30. I just know that the energy throughout this thing is just going to like tank but right now I'm up, I'm ready to go. I've already had half of this. Usually I would drink a full one of these as soon as I get up, but I don't want to be running with a sloshy stomach and like I just didn't wake up early enough to drink a whole one. That's pretty much my only excuse. But I'm going to eat this RX bar really quick. It's like my favorite flavor right now. And I thought that I may as well just like tear off the band-aid. Um, the ear and marathon was canceled, so that kind of stinks. But um, my friend and I, who was going to train for Boston, which was also canceled, <laughs> we're still going to kind of keep up with our training, but uh, just like when the miles start to climb, we're just like not going to do like the crazy long runs. I don't know, like running just makes me so happy and I love training. I love the process. Yeah, we'll see. So I'm just glad I never signed up for the marathon in the first place to have it be canceled and then maybe like not even get my money back. So everything worked out and um, yeah, so that's going to be the end of my marathon training series. So sorry. <laughs> If you're following along, which like not many of you are, <laughs> I thought it would be a cute idea and I wish I had done it last year, but you know, um, but I really love the texture of this bar. It is the vanilla almond flavor. I can really only ever find it at Trader Joe's, but I actually like really struggle still like biting into things because and when I was little, I ended up splitting my front tooth in half in a volleyball tournament. I just face planted, knocked half my tooth out, and um, they just like glued it back on, which is amazing. Like you could barely tell. I'm like they did warn me like the glue's gonna wear off, like just be prepared. But it was at school and I went to go bite into, it was like a turkey wrap or something, so it wasn't even anything crunchy. And like I could just feel the pressure. like. I could just tell it was off and sure enough like it came off in school it was the most embarrassing moment ever um it was kind of the worst and now like I just have like a fake tooth in so it shouldn't pop out but like I'm still paranoid like what if it does don't want to do it all right I'm gonna finish this and then in 30 minutes it's 7 56 right now gonna hit the road with my pal and I'm so excited. Um, yeah, but I'm excited to show you what I eat throughout the day. That keeps me healthy with IBD and so like a lot of these will be like SCD based recipes, um, which is very, very close to paleo. If you follow that diet or know about it, it's very similar. Yeah, so I'll just leave it at that and I hope you guys enjoy. I hope this gives you some good meal or recipe inspiration um yeah all right so i just got back from my 12 mile run it felt so good and now i'm absolutely starving and obviously really sweaty so i think i'm going to make a smoothie we got a lot of fun ingredients from trader joe's yesterday um i'll actually insert a haul later on in this video i think we got um, these berry packets, acai berry packets from Trader Joe's are unsweetened. They have zero grams of sugar. Um, the only ingredients are water, organic acai, and citric acid, which I'm not a huge fan of. But you know what? It's fine. I will live. They come like this. I don't know if you guys are familiar with these or because I wasn't before yesterday. So maybe I'm just late to the train. 
but they look like this and what you do you run one acai puree packet under warm water for five seconds to thaw and then break into smaller pieces tear the corner of the acai packet and squeeze into a blender so that's what i'm gonna do um and i'll get back to you on how that's all gonna go down i guess it'll just watch me like my blender's right here yeah i'm a little bit skeptical because i'm used to like the super sugary acai bowls from like places but obviously those aren't scd friendly so we're gonna give these a go i'm really excited okay honestly that took a lot shorter than five minutes and now you can see it's kind of like liquidy and pliable if that makes sense Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to grab scissors and I guess... Alright, that was honestly easier than I thought it was going to be, so... This might be a really good idea. They might be onto something here. Alright, so, well this is a little high, but it made two. I knew the blender was really full, but I didn't think it was that full, but I'm not complaining. Yeah, it's really good. Alright, so it has literally been like 20 minutes um, since I had my smoothie, but that is, oh boy, I'm not even in frame. I'm just craving something really sweet. Um, not really craving anything savory, which is like very typical for long run days. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, finally getting my cup of coffee for the day. Usually this happens much earlier, but I just wanted to make sure that I was getting enough water and everything in before started drinking multiple cups of coffee. And I hate to be repetitive, but I think I'm going to make my almond butter bread again because I love it so much. And I think I'm going to also make my protein brownie batter type of thing, which I do very, very often. It's just a really great way to get protein in and it tastes like you're eating dessert, so why not? <laughs> what I use is, hold on, I'll take you, my New Zest protein powder. It is by far one of my favorites and it doesn't really seem oh, it doesn't really seem to like upset my stomach by any means so start with this and then I also I also just use some cocoa powder and then some coconut flour and that's literally it um right now i've been loving adding in some espresso powder just because i feel like it brings out the chocolate a little bit i don't know if that's just me let me just use this one it's just like an instant espresso type of deal like i said i make this so often i just feel like for lunch it's a really good quick option because you just literally mix it together <laughs> like it doesn't take any baking or like blending so yeah, i actually found or like created this like quote recipe or like concoction whatever you want to call it in my dorm freshman year because the dining hall chicken just kind of like grossed me out and that was kind of like when i was first starting to learn about how bad the commercial meat industry is and so i just like really didn't want anything to do with meat but then i was like oh my gosh how the heck am i gonna get my protein in I need my measuring things hold on so then i was worried about like getting my protein in it's like i'm a runner so like it's kind of important to like rebuild and like recover you know the drill it's full i just put in two scoops which is a serving of the new zest and then I did two tablespoons of cocoa powder and then I do two and a half tablespoons of coconut flour as well and then I just add in a spoonful of this espresso powder 
not very much just enough to add some flavor um i'm not doing it to get more caffeine in my diet by any means i'm actually trying to cut back i just love the taste of coffee so much and it's almost like a social thing too like the coffee shops are the first thing to like finally start reopening near us we're still living in partial quarantine but all of our restaurants opened up yesterday and i'm still trying to get a job so i might go out today and job hunt because honestly waitressing jobs sorry to go get all my milk and come back as i was saying waitressing jobs are really good not that it's been a dream job of mine by any means but i don't know like i just feel like it would be fun to try out for something different so i just added in a little bit of almond milk and i just have water in here it's probably like half full but i only use as much to like get into a protein batter consistency um which i'll show you guys so this is the full spread um not glamorous at all but this is my favorite almond flour bread loaf thing I know homemade bread sounds like super extra and intimidating, but this is so easy. It takes like 10 minutes and I love it. And it's totally grain free, SCD friendly. This however is not totally SCD friendly because of the cocoa powder, but it is totally sugar free and it really does taste like brownie batter. Um, it kind of has the consistency too, like it's just really thick and delicious not pretty though and then i have some green um don't mind my purse and junk in the background but it's just some arugula we got at trader joe's yesterday um, one of the trader joe's pre-cooked beets and some salsa um all drizzled in some flax oil and lemon juice and it's delicious i promise yeah and then another cup of coffee i already had one also, like, we're not Yankees fans. It's just, like, an old cup. I just thought I'd clarify. This is only my second cup for the day. Two cups is very typical for me. And I just put in some almond milk. And I left the collagen out because... This around here. Um, I left... I left the collagen out because I put some in my smoothie this morning. And... As good as collagen is for you, my bank account is hurting because I still don't have a job. Also, update on the frozen acai bowl packet thing. It's not a bowl that I did earlier in my smoothie. Really good. You definitely need the banana in there, otherwise it's not going to be sweet. But I was so impressed. I'm definitely going to be buying that again. The problem with Trader Joe's is that it's like 45 minutes away, so we don't get there too often because it's super extra to like travel so long just for food, like grocery shopping. But we did yesterday and I'm so glad we did because we loaded up on all of my favorite stuff, which I'll probably just show you now. So while I'm eating this, enjoy my little grocery haul thing because I love watching them, so hopefully you guys do too feel like if you're watching this, we're probably like on some kind of the same wavelength here. So hopefully you enjoy. Um, there's some of my favorite like paleo and SCD friendly things from Trader Joe's that I just love. All right, so this is everything we got from Trader Joe's today. Um, I just thought it'd be fun to do a quick little grocery haul type of thing because we don't go to Trader Joe's often. So when we do, we like to stock up. So over here, let's start with the fun stuff. I got some more hemp hearts. I got two things of nut butter. One is almond, one is cashew. I like the creamy in both. I'm not a crunchy peanut butter, nut butter gal. So that's a deal. I really like these for baking. I go through them like crazy. Um, I got a can of coconut cream because I really want to try and recreate my absolute favorite dessert in the whole wide world. I call it Peanut Butter Islands. It has a real name, but that's like my birthday cake every single year. And I want to try and recreate an SCD version. Of course, I'm going to probably do that either today or tomorrow. I got my favorite bars, my favorite flavors. I can really only ever find these at Trader Joe's right now. So I got three. Um, I eat this every single night. As you guys probably know, if you follow me on like Instagram or something, this stuff is so good. And it's totally unsweetened. Zero grams of sugar, if it'll focus. 
So good. So good for you. Full of antioxidants. Um, I got goat milk, gouda cheese, because I really want to try out, like, a red lentil mac and cheese situation. Uh, beets are my favorite steamed beets. are so easy, and honestly, beets just take forever to cook by yourself, so I'm just <laughs> lazy and get these. Um, eggs, you know, like the usual staples, Greek yogurt. I got some of their unsweetened acai packets. Never tried these before, but I've only heard good things. I typically don't eat soy of any kind, but I find that fermented soy I actually do really well with. So I picked up some tempeh. This is one of my favorite plant-based protein options. Um, I think I already said Greek yogurt. Bananas are a staple. I eat banana pancakes almost every morning. See arugula, cauliflower gnocchi, of course, and some frozen Brussels sprouts are super easy to just like throw in an air fryer or something. Now that you saw everything and saw what I got, um, I might have mentioned this in there, but I'm also not totally sure, so sorry if I'm repeating myself, but my dad stopped at Sam's Club that same day and we buy all of our veggies in bulk because I go through a lot of vegetables, which is why like we just didn't show much produce in the haul and we just showed all of the fun stuff when in reality probably like 75% of our groceries every day or every week um, are vegetables. So <laughs> just keep that in mind like we just stocked up on all of our favorites because we just don't get to Trader Joe's very much. Thank you for getting my absolute favorite coffee in the whole wide world. This nitro cold brew never gets old. even close to being in focus. We're just doing a pasta night over here because everybody is kind of in different directions and honestly like pasta is just the easiest. So like my sister's at work, my mom has like a graduation thing for her kiddos. My dad and brother are home and they're doing like a spaghetti and meatball type of thing because it's easy. So I made a little goat cheese, um, gouda, pasta, red lentil, bowl. I don't really know what to call it yet. I was honestly going for like a mac and cheese, but the gouda didn't really melt like I thought it would. So this is what we got. It smells delicious. It was so easy to make like you guys probably saw. And then I just have some zucchini over here and some broccoli and a big bowl of all of my favorite veggies. I have a bowl like this almost every single night. I kind of treat it like my multivitamin in a way because I don't take a vitamin every single day. I just make sure that I get most of my nutrients through my food and it seems to work out really well for me. So this is like my little vitamin bowl. That's kind of how I treat it. And then my mom and sister brought me back a coffee because they went shopping this morning when I was on my run. So they brought me back my favorite nitro cold brew. It's only a tall because I told them, like, I've already had two cups today. I can't do, like, a grande nitro. <laughs> I'm going to be up all night. But I think I'm going to go hang out with my pals later from high school. So I'm excited. So maybe I do want to be up all night. Um, but I'm also going to go inside and get my water bottle 
Um, I always drink another 32 ounces with dinner. I just forgot to bring it outside because it's gorgeous out. So I think we're going to eat out here and yeah. I'll give you guys a taste test because honestly I don't know how this is going to taste. And I don't know if I want to recommend that you make this. So this is what we're working with. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's really, really, really good. I love, like, the creamy earthiness of goat cheese Gouda. I highly recommend. Um, I think Gouda cheese is still SCD legal. Like, you can have it on this specific carbohydrate diet, but... Um, I just find that I digest goat cheese a little bit better just because it has a lower lactose content. So, little pro tip if you struggle as well. Um, and the added parsley I put on in the very end was A+. Plus. Perfect way to finish off the day. But, of course, like, there's gonna be dessert. Like, I have the biggest sweet tooth, like I said earlier. Like, dessert is definitely going to be a thing. So, yeah, I'm going to dig into my big bowl of veggies. One more thing, I forgot to mention that this pasta is red lentil pasta. Um, normal pasta, obviously, is um, that would wreck my stomach. So, I'm not going to do that. This is like half a box, I think. So, like two servings of red lentil pasta. I think I get the tolerant foods or whatever. I'll, like, I probably showed it when I was cooking. But that's my favorite brand just because it's only made with one ingredient. So, but yeah, I'll catch you guys after dinner. Alright you guys, hello. It's been like an hour. It is currently 8.34 on the dot and um, feeling some dessert. So I'm just sitting here working on a blog post that actually just went up. It's for my blueberry rhubarb SCD mug cake. Make sure to check it out. It's a good one. Um, unfortunately, I do not have time for a mug cake tonight or don't have time to clean up after it because um, our dishwasher is already going first of all. Second of all, my friends are getting together, so I'm gonna run out the door to go see them. But first, I have um, my favorite Honey Roasted Paleo Puffs by Lesser Evil. These are so good. And then I have a little piece, just a little square of my 100% dark chocolate because it is the last of this bar and I just like didn't wanna open a whole new one. And then I have the last, um, what did I call them? They're like a Java chip blondie. They're totally paleo, SCD friendly, vegan, gluten free, grain free. Um, yeah, actually they're not totally SCD because I did put chocolate chips in them, but if you didn't, they're totally SCD. <laughs> so if you're on the IBD train, these are winners. But I really hope you guys can like get a load of this texture. It is so stinking good. Like, it's so fluffy. Um, I'm definitely going to have to remake them and take some photos for the blog, hopefully this week. But I'm going to eat all of this really quick. All right, update. My camera just ran out of memory, so that is wonderful. I'm gonna have to like go back and delete, but I'm kind of in a rush because I need to get out of the house. Well, anyways, it's like, it doesn't matter. Um, this is all gonna be delicious. I have my coffee to go because I'm probably not going to have time to drink it. Clearly obsessed with coffee, um, but it's decaf, so we're fine. So I'm gonna bring that along and yeah, go be social i'm so done with this whole quarantine thing so it'll be really good and um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed following along i hope it gave you some fun like paleo scd recipe ideas if not just like meal inspiration i'm really passionate about eating for my gut health and for my general health and honestly i believe that what you put in your body every day really makes a difference in your health and really lowers the risk of your chance of developing a chronic disease. 
the whole nine yards. I'm into it if you're new here. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching and make sure to follow me on Instagram and my blog at wholesomelyhannah.net. All of my recipes are up there. They're all SCD, paleo, grain-free, gluten-free. Yeah, that works. So, um, yeah, make sure to check me out there if you haven't. And I'd really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.